2023 was an amazing year for Python, ChatGPT, and all of the other LLMs and all the integration that could happen between them. I had a really great time putting together practical demos and use cases and just doing a lot of discovery. Let me show you now some quick highlights of 10 of my favorite demos and practical use cases. Please check the description and there I've put the links to all the videos with the accompanying source code. My goal in the video is to show you how I used Autogen to actually create this script called Airbnb Search. What it does is it goes out and searches Airbnb and then brings me back the data so I can see the prices and the listings. So in our scenario, we're gonna be doing a user proxy and then an assistant. Next, we're gonna set up an LLM config. This We're gonna call this thing the agent proxy. I need you to write a Python script that will do the following. Number one, go to Airbnb. That's what we have to really tell Autogen. Otherwise it doesn't know what tag to look for. And there you go, it did the search. Here are the results. You can see the, the prices and the places. I'm super excited today to show you Open Interpreter. Open Interpreter is a, a Python project, an open source project. What it does is it allows uh, LLMs to run code locally on your machine. So let's say, please analyze this code. And we're simply going to just drag and drop the code right there. Give it a path. It can't get the code right now. So it actually wrote code to read in that file. Now it's asking you, hey, do you want me to actually run this code? Say yes. Now it's able to read in the file to actually do the work that you asked it to do. And as I said before, in less than 20 lines of code, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, the most powerful web scraper uh, using a chat GPT-4. The library that we're going to be using in Python is called LangChain. So what you'll do is just copy all of the URLs here, and then you'll come back to your code and you'll just paste them here. So, uh, but it's going to take all this context for you, pull it all down in those web, web pages, and then you can just pump it right into chat GPT-4 as its context. And now it's working. Okay, here's the answer. So it took all of these URLs and it answered all of these questions. My goal today is to show you how I got this script here, uh, Amazon Price Checker, to be produced by Autogen. When I execute, you can see that Selenium pulls up the website, data is entered, it gathers information on an iPhone 13, and there is the answer. It's time now to set up to initiate our chat. So we're gonna have the agent proxy searches for an iPhone 14 at Amazon, finds the price of the iPhone 14, prints that result to the screen. And here's the answer. So th this is pretty interesting in the beginnings. And you're going to see it's loading up the Chrome uh, driver. So then you, you just get the same error over and over. So executable path. And then the actual one that did work is Amazon price check. My goal today is to show you how easy it is to create this really cool snake game in Python with MetaGPT by only giving it one command. What they're calling this is the multi-agent framework. So it's a way for essentially GPT uh, you know, an AI to take all of these roles on itself. So you've got a, a software company, it, who, who's going to be in the company? So you'll have a boss, a product manager, architect, project manager, engineer, and all the in, in Q&A. All of these entities are really just their own AIs, and it's using chat GPT to simulate all of these things. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Code Llama to chat locally to your local repo, to your local code, ask questions about it, get answers in return. Uh, what you're going to see here, are, here are all the packages that we're going to be using, and you'll see those. Next step here is we need to work on splitting. We need to split up these documents into chunks. Finally, let's set up our question. So how can I initialize a React agent? And here's the answer that we got back. Uh, to initialize a React agent, you'll need to provide the following information. So my goal is to show you how I got this script, Stock APIs, built by Autogen, to query five different Stock APIs for the Ford Stock. Here we go, Alpha Vantage, FinHub, IEX, Quandle, and 12 data. To find out which one is cheapest, print that to the screen, and then also print that to my Slack channel. Let's get right to the meat here. The, here we're gonna initiate the chat, and we're gonna talk to our assistant, and here is the prompt. Then we're gonna ask it to compare all the prices. So then we're gonna print which price is lowest at which exchange, sends that lowest price exchange to Slack, and here is the Slack URL. Here is a script that was generated, so we're gonna import request, a date time, date time. Got your request, your, uh, and they're gonna get a response. It's gonna print the lowest price, and then it's gonna send that price to Slack. First three lines here are all imports 
from LangChain. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is even print as a debug statement, loading which PDF are we loading. Next, we jump to the vector store index creator. Okay, so that's it. You can see 20 lines of code. The PDFs that we're gonna load are, get ready, pretty exciting. The Apple 10K report and the Microsoft 10K report. Based on their 10K reports, which company seems more optimistic about upcoming industry trends and their role in them, but you can see it certainly did answer it. My goal is to show you how I got Autogen to create this eBay price scraper that calls eBay, finds some prices, and then pumps those prices to my Slack. And here they come. They're printing to the screen and printing to my Slack channel. Let's get right to the prompt and understand exactly what I asked it to do. So I'd like for you to create a Python script that meets the following requirements. Uses the Selenium Python package, uses the presence of element located method for Selenium. And you can see the class ID is S dash item underscore underscore price. That's the hint we're giving it. Now I'm gonna show you how you need to set up your app so that your Python code can actually talk to a channel in your Slack to alert you. The agent proxy is saying, please do this for me. And the assistant actually produces the code. We're gonna combine traditional Python web scraping with ChatGPT to quickly automate and decipher the absolute best deals on Craigslist and to send you a notification. So here is the demo. Let's go ahead and run this. What it's doing is it's popping up Craigslist. So it's searching for vehicles in Houston against a certain price range. And then it's going to grab 50 of those vehicles and immediately shove those to ChatGPT and ask, which is the best deal? So here is the answer that came back. It looks like it is the Ford Fusion wins for $3,000, 2013. And here's all the reasons why it believes that is true. It also sends an email update, pop over here to my email, and you can see that it tells me all this information in my email. It's now time to build main. The first thing we're gonna do in main is driver equals webdriver.chrome. That's gonna be our Selenium driver, gonna boot up Chrome for us. There are several ways to look for this. That was the easiest one that I found. Here is where we actually engage the AI. So chat GBT underscore response. Here is the user message. So given a set of vehicle listings on Craigslist, your job is to give your opinion of which deal is best. You're to give your reasoning and feel free to reference other listings in your justification. I wanted to see why did it make the particular decision. Come back to the top of your function and here is your send email that we need to build. So we got message subject, message body, print some debug. You've got model, price, and mileage. And here is the giant prompt that we send to uh, ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this video, please consider a like and subscribe. And I really hope 2024 brings just as much as excitement as last year. Thank you. Until next time.